Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Eric Fink. Zoe Zandora has the night off. We begin tonight with abortion rights. This week, the Supreme Court could decide the fate of an abortion pill that right now remains widely available both here in Arizona and across the country. Justice Samuel Alito granted a stay that allows the medication known as Mifepristone to stay on the shelf for now. It can be used up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. Anti-abortion groups, along with a group of doctors, brought a legal challenge last November against the FDA. The FDA approved the abortion pill more than two decades ago. Earlier this month, a federal judge in Texas ruled FDA approval should be revoked. But that ruling is now on hold, with the high court expected to weigh in this week. Pro-choice supporters say Mifepristone has been shown to be safer than Tylenol. We've had this for 23 years, and it is only now, in the wake of the Dobbs decision, that we are seeing it at risk of being pulled from the shelves. People should really think critically about why now, so that they can see that this is politically motivated, it is a hurdle to healthcare, and it's unnecessary. For the purpose of causing an abortion, for the purpose of inducing the death of another human being, I would hope that the court will take, will, will remove it, will mandate its removal from the market. 100% of the time, it's unsafe for the baby. It's unsafe for the mother. And the Supreme Court is expected to issue a decision on this Wednesday.